Yeah, hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how to use case metrics to track the usage of your mobile app. So I have an app here called Daily Deal, which is a daily deal aggregator for the iPhone, which you can view here. So what I want to do is um, if users can actually scroll through and see deals, they can also click on view deal, click on buy now to actually buy the deal and then they will be sent off to the deal site. So what I want to do is I want to track how many people actually view the deal compared to how many people actually click on the buy now button. So this will help me understand which deals are actually performing the best so then I can actually put those deals higher up in the list. So it's basically two functions which is called from this object. So what we have is a user view the deal and the user bought a deal. So here we have the URL with the information about the actions and the unique ID in the URL. So first of all, Kissmetrics is an analytics tracking web app that you can find at kissmetrics.com here. The idea behind tracking and Kissmetrics is to understand how people use your app. So there are two main things you need to start off with and these are events and metrics. So you can click here to create events You can click here on top here to create a new metric down here. So the idea behind events and metrics is that events happen when people take a certain action and metrics are the statistics attached to an event. So let me just quickly give a quick example what I mean by that. A quick event could be a user clicking on the button and a metric would just be how many times people click on that button. So if you understand, so that's the attachment between metrics and events. You can set up events in two ways from the web app itself, going here and clicking on creating a new event. Chris Metrics has a PHP API, which you can get from GitHub here at Kissmetrics slash Kissmetrics. And if you download the API there, you should get like a couple of files which you can use to, call, which you can actually call from your application. So for example, here is a sample PHP file, a very simple one, which I use to um, implement the Kissmetrics API. So the first step is to include the API up there and then we're getting the action that we want to record and then the unique identifier this will all be passing along with the URL and then you have your API key and quick call to so Kissmetrics record we basically record that action with some options so in this case my options is, is just my unique ID so I can track users and I can track what actions they actually do on the application and I think that's actually it so if you run that so basically when I go here when I click on view deal and a request is sent off in the background to Kissmetrics and when I click on buy now another request is sent off in the background and that is all tracked for me. So going back to my dashboard I can now view my events down here. So I have two events here, bought a deal and a user clicked on the deal. Then I can actually add a couple of metrics which I've added already here which is uh, my conversion rate. So buying a deal versus a user viewing a deal. So the two events that are tied into that is the user viewing a deal and the user buying a deal. And I can save that metric and then that information will come up I mean in the next 24 hours. So that's basically how it would work with case metrics. Now I'm armed with information about my app. I can now find ways of improving the conversion rate for example. I can change the color of my buttons, change the location of the buttons and etc. That's how case metrics can be used to track a mobile app. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can send it to me through Twitter at AmyTime or you can get me on Google+. Plus. My name is Tope Abayomi from AmyTime Apps. Thank you very much and hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.